Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It's all about the Rose Hermes collection. We've got blushes, we've got lip enhancers, we've got brushes. We're trying everything on, we're swatching, and we're talking. So if you wanna see how it all came together, what exactly I had on my face, and what this incredibly chic thing is on my head, just keep watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Hey guys, so obviously today is going to be a really exciting video and I can't wait to get into it in just one sec, but as always, I have to start with my Breezy Tea product of the day. I am wearing our Rose Tan Silk Twill headband, okay? I love this thing, so chic. I've said it before, but if you're not familiar, Silk Twill is the standard in luxury silks, okay? Which brings us to Hermes because they're twillies, they're full scarves, they are Silk Twill, they are world renowned, and so I thought it was really appropriate to wear our own Silk Twill uh, product, and this one is in rose tan, also a color that they have in this collection. So these come in lots of colors. We make all our products ourselves. Um, they come in lots of colors. We chose Silk Twill because of just how chic the finish is. I don't like super shiny silks and super shiny fabrics, but Silk Twill is a really sophisticated, chic uh, fabric because of the lines in them. And I'm hoping you can see this. This is our magenta color, but I'm, I'm holding this up because I want you to be able to see, hopefully, the lines in this fabric because you're gonna see it again on why Hermes has the lines in the, um, on the blushes. So I'm hoping you can see those lines. There are, sm there are small lines in there, that's why it's Silk Twill, and it allows the light to bounce off in a really sophisticated way in my opinion. So it's not super shiny, but you have a really nice sheen. Okay, so that's what's on my head. If you wanna check out any of our Silk Twill headbands, you can visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. All the information will be in the description below. There is elastic in the back, so you got some room to play with. Now let's get into these blushes. Okay, so we're gonna start, but I just wanna say, I know how much buzz is around this release and how excited uh, everyone is about this blush release, but I wanna make sure that I'm being honest in my review. I don't want to just, I love Hermes a lot. In business, I admire them um, as a consumer. Their products are awesome. So I don't want to, that's that's aside from anything. None, none of us are above uh, criticism. So I just want to point that out because I know there's a buzz. I did have not watched any reviews, but I don't want to, you know, just come at you and tell you everything's great if that's not truly how I feel. I am super excited for this release though. So. Let's get in. So it starts with the, their famed orange box, right? That we all know, Hermes 4, beautiful, love that. And then inside is the blush. Here, the front side is white with their emblem here, the H, the horses on top. If you're not aware, that's how Hermes got their start with um, products for horses, saddles, and stuff like that. So. Um, and in the back, we have like a brush gold color, brush metal color, which mirrors the uh, lipstick cases, the permanent lipstick cases, okay? So you can see how they mirror each other. We have the brush gold, but there's a difference. There's a difference. This is very lightweight. So first reaction to this was, hmm, first reaction, I will be clear. I love it. Okay, the, the look of it. The look of it is stellar. Pierre Hardy worked on this. He is a designer, he has his own line, he works with her Hermes, and he is in charge of the packaging of the lipsticks, the blushes, the look is his. And color block is something that he does a lot of and is so wonderful at it. So visually, I absolutely love the packaging. I need to say that, however, it is really lightweight, it is plastic, and I would be uh, telling you an untruth if I didn't say I was a little disappointed at how lightweight it feels. It doesn't feel substantial enough for me um, as an Hermes product, as a luxury product with Hermes prices. 
because I have other luxury products from other brands that are weighted and in my hand they feel substantial, I was excited. I thought it would feel substantial like their lipsticks because of like the brush metal and this one doesn't. So I'm gonna, my first impression visually, 100%. How it actually feels, I'm a bit disappointed that it's, it's plastic all over and it just, that part was like wah wah. Beautifully designed and it's well done plastic, let's be clear, because this is beautiful. I love the circle in this, how they designed this. The design is absolutely stellar. This one is rose tan. Absolutely stellar design. I just wish that it felt as luxurious as it looks. Now, did that have to do with COVID? I'm not sure. That could that could that could be. Things things are things that people want. They've had to alter uh, releases of things. So maybe it was supposed to have some sort of brush metal on it to fit the weightiness of the lipsticks, but it doesn't, and so I wanted to mention that. Next up is Rose Phil. That's a tricky word to pronounce, fire in French. Um, this is a beautiful, rich color, and I saw one of the makeup artists for this collection, they used this on a deep skin tone, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, what is that shade? And then she told me what the shade was, and I was like, okay, that one's going on the list because this looked divine on the model, and I knew I wanted to have it. I really hope you can see, remember what I was telling you about the lines on the actual silk twill? Well, they're here on the rose. Now that I'm seeing how pigmented they are in person, um, the two that are coming are lighter and I'm glad that I got them because I wanted to see, I wanted different colors, not just like these rosy, rich, 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 rosy ones. Design is where necessity meets fashion. That's a, a quote from Pierre Hardy and let's admire this packaging. It is, aside from the weight of the packaging, let's just admire the look of this. Just the simple way that they shaped the uh, the circle in the middle and that almost like egg-like shape around it. Such a smart, it's just such a smart design. These are pieces that you want to keep. These are pieces that, you know, draw you in immediately. If it's true that we uh, eat with our eyes first, the same can be said about these products because as soon as you see it, you, you want it, you covet it, okay? And then the mirror, mirrors, no pun intended, the design of the blush at the bottom, the same circle, the same circle in the middle, the more oval shape around it, it is just such a beautiful piece of art. It just looks classy, it just looks interesting, and yeah, this is a beautiful, just a beautiful, beautiful job that Pierre Hardy and his team have, have done. Such a fan of his, such a fan. And then I got a refill. I wanted to show off the refill again in plastic. Disappointed by the plastic. Uh, another French brand that I love. They use paper for their refills, so it's possible. This is Rose Louis. Another beautiful, beautiful shade. So they came out with two beautiful brushes, blush brushes. One is a full size brush and then the travel size brush, okay? Again with the color block, again with Pierre Hardy's name all over these beautiful, oh, I can't, I can't tell you. Love, 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 Pierre Hardy. Um, this one comes with a brush guard and this one is made of goat hair, okay? So let's look at this closer. So this is the full brush an angled brush, which just happens to be a favorite shape of mine. We have the pink, the white, and the black, the colors of the collection. Up here, it says Hermes in the front. And then this one was made in France by a master brush maker, okay? Beautiful, the brush metal up top. Art, this looks like art. So excited, so excited to try this one out. Now, the... <clears throat> Travel brush is synthetic, okay? Really dense, really soft, and a mini one. So we have the brush metal up top, and then we have the white, okay? So these are the two brushes together. Also angled, which I'm excited about, because it just gets you placement just where you want it. I love an angled brush. So here are the swatches. We have Rose Fue, 
that is a tough word to pronounce. Here we have Rose Tan and we have Rose Nui, okay? And really, really pigmented, went on easily, incredibly smooth. So I'm actually excited to see these on my skin. I would be completely remiss if I did not mention Miss Christine Nagel, who is the perfumer for uh, Hermes. And these have a really pleasant, beautiful light. Oh, I love it so much. Apparently it's Arnica, Sandalwood, and Green Tea. I tell you what, that green tea comes through, and I am all about green tea fragrances right now. I have two like, on my immediate list that are tea, green tea fragrances for the spring and summer that I want. And yeah, this is, this smells so pleasant. This smells so pleasant. So another wonderful job from Christine Nagel. This smells good, it looks good. Let's see how it performs. So let's start with a pop, okay? We'll start with this Rose Fue and the Goat Bristle, uh, cheek brush, blush brush, and let's get this on one of my cheeks. This gets a nice amount of product on the brush. Um, we're gonna talk while I apply this because, so, Jerome Turon is the creative director of, woo, that's a little blast of color, eh? Of, um, Hermes the Beauty. And so they were talking, he was talking about this collection. So they have scoured their collection of pink fabrics that they've used throughout the years to come up with the inspiration and the colors for this collection. So obviously the idea was that the blush with the silk twill inspiration, the blush is supposed to feel silky. It's supposed to remind you of the smoothness, the easiness the, the, of silk, okay? This is beautiful. This is beautifully pigmented. This brush is really doing a nice job of how much product it's picking up. As you can see, I had a lot on there and how easily it blends out. Again, if you follow the angle, it kind of just goes up the top of the cheek really wonderfully. I want to push this. I want to see how much more, I wouldn't normally put this much, but let's play around with it, okay? We've got the Baby Jane vibes here, which we don't like, so you know we have to blend that out. Um, a natural flush of color. You don't wanna be looking crazy. So here we go. Really beautiful color, absolutely one for the chocolate ladies. Um, for sure, this is a this is a burst of color. If you're if you're wondering what shades, if you're deeper deeper than I am, um, what shade would look good on you? This is a beaut. So now let's use rose tan. Uh, every time I hold up this this compact, this design is everything. With the travel brush, perfect for traveling, perfect size, and this one is synthetic. Uh, I need to report that. Here we've got some nice color on here. I need to report that it is giving me the most beautiful, beautiful glow on the skin. Subtle, sophisticated, oh, I love this color. This one, I was like, please show up, please. One I have coming is a peachy one, and then another one I have coming is an exclusive to Asia have a package coming from um, Japan. And so I said, let me throw in that Asian exclusive color and we can see how it looks on my skin tone. This brush is really, really soft. It's doing the job beautifully. It's blending out. This shade is everything, everything. I love subtle colors and the colors that look like they're going to be my skin tone are always tricky because I'm, I'm always nervous that it's just going to blend too much into my skin. And I'm really, really liking the, 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 the nice little subtle glow. Remember I say to you guys all the time, I am in my 40s and so 
how products apply on my skin is really, really important. I don't want anything that's drying my skin out and I don't want anything that I have to tug across my skin to make work. So it needs to go on seamlessly, seamlessly. It needs to blend out seamlessly, which this brush, both brushes have absolutely done. And it needs to not emphasize anything on my cheeks. In your 40s, you start seeing your skin change and you may not want to bring emphasis to those changes. So I'm going to try with all my might to get these three to work together. So you see down here is the Rose Fouet. I'm going to put the Rose Nuit above here and hope we can see the difference. But first, let's see how we get this thing out. So each refill comes with this little tool, okay? So there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the seat. There's a hole here, okay, on the back of each case. So we stick this in here and it pushes this straight up. So you take the one off. Now let's talk about something very, very interesting here. There's glue on the back. There's glue on the back. I don't even know how to put this down. If I put it down on the glue side, that's gonna be a problem. And then if I put it down the front, the front of the blush, it's going to be a problem. So things we didn't think about perhaps. This is not, this was not a smart uh, idea. So let's put Rose Nuit, see the glue is also here. So let's put Rose Nuit here in the thing, okay? And just like that, it's in there, okay? And the glue is presumably what is keeping it there. So str strange, strange situation there, strange situation. But let's get this on the cheeks. Now the good thing about natural hair brushes, you just wipe them off on a piece of cloth and the products will come right off. That's how you extend the life of your natural hair brushes by not washing them a lot, which will break everything down. And so you just have to wash them off. So like I said, this is gonna be, we're gonna try it. So let's try to get this, remember, Rose Fouet is here. I'll maybe I'll add a little more so you can see the dip a little bit brighter. And then I'm gonna put this right on top, almost like where the where the um, highlighter goes. Now this is just for the purpose of the videos, guys. The video, guys. I'm not walking around with blush up to my eyeballs, okay? But you can see the color. Very, very pity, pr pity and pretty. It's very, very pretty, a beautiful shade of rose. And again, this one is going to be really nice on deeper skin tones. I absolutely believe Rose Nui um, and Rose Fue will show up. I'm gonna put a little bit more Rose Fue. I'll take it back off camera, pull it back, but I just want you to see the difference. Okay, so this one is Fue. Put a little bit more down here below. You should be able to see the difference now. If I leave it right here, fue, nui, nui, fue. Okay, so you get two really nice shades. These are certainly, like again, will look really nice on brown skin if you are wondering that. Okay, so I pulled it back. And just remember that the fue is the more red shade and then the nui um, is the more pink shade, dusty rose shade. So those are your two options depending on what you want for the brighter, more vibrant color. These show up beautifully. And again, this is rose tan. So, and the, the brushes perform beautifully. I'm actually really enjoying this uh, goat hair bristle brush. Gets me in and out. And as did the travel brush. Really, really nice job. I just wanna say this, while the glue needs, needs a little work, um, it doesn't sit directly down into the plastic. It sits up. Okay, so the glue is not actually touching the bottom of this plastic piece, so you should be okay to put it back into your compact. I just wanted to mention that. So that part shouldn't be a problem. 
So let's get to these lip enhancers. I'm excited, oh, we'll have to talk about the packaging first because I love this packaging. This paper, it's paper packaging and this paper is textured, which looks really, really nice. And then the orange box comes through here. I just love this packaging. Very, very thoughtful. Really, really like it. Love, love, love the textured paper. Then you come, take it out. And here is your orange box for the lip products, okay? Slide this out, pull it this way. Oh, I forgot, it's in, it comes in this little pouch, okay? Canvas pouch. And then here is the packaging for this collection of lip enhancers. So we're staying with this, this is the Rose Hermes collection. We are staying with that theme. So we have the beautiful rose, the brush metal here, the white up top emblem here on top. And this feels substantial. This feels weighted. This feels luxurious, okay? It also looks stunning. And of course, together, what a perfect pair, yeah? Really, really beautiful looking products. And I just wanted to compare it if you wanted to see it next to the permanent cases, okay? So the pink is beautiful. Now the apricot shade comes with a peachy bottom and then the other pink shade has a slightly different pink um, bottom. So all three lip enhancers that have come out in this collection, each one has a different color at the bottom. Okay, so this is rose tan. The look of this is so exceptional. I can't describe what it looks like. It reminds me of the texture of an eraser. You know when you have an eraser? That's the only way I can describe the look of this uh, texture is so interesting and so, it's beautiful, matte, and um, yeah, it just reminds me of an eraser. It is angled, okay? It says Hermes here. And let's read a little about this. So rose tan is an amber tone warm, okay? It's weightless and translucent. Halo reveals the lips natural beauty. Uh, it has a waxy finish and it's supposed to leave a hint of transparent pink and a matte luminosity. So I'm excited. Let me swatch this. Okay. You get some color there. Translucent, nice rosy color. And let's see how this applies. Ooh, I like this a lot. It does just what it says it's going to do. Just a hint of color. Shout out to Christina Gell. I'm so glad that she chose green tea, man. It's such a pleasant smell. I just love that green tea note. It really is pleasant. It is, it is, pre it is pleasant and it is present in the rosy lip enhancers as well. But it does just what it said it was going to do. I was a little worried because I have, um, more pigmented lips, these kind of like translucent, balmy kind of, you know, light layers don't always show up, but I like the pink. It's doing just what it said, barely there, enhances your lip color, and it feels amazing on the lips. It feels so moisturizing and nourishing and soft, not tacky, very, very nice feeling on the lips. Really, really happy with this one. Mm. Let's try on the other shade. Okay, so the recharge or refill comes in this paper box and it comes like this with the cap on it. Take the cap off. You realize just how much color got on your lip when you go to take it off. So we're gonna switch this out. So here's the rose tan one, right? These are refillable, great for the earth. You pull this up, okay? And now I'm gonna put that back down. I'm going to take the apricot color, rose apricot, and I'm going to just stick it in here. Okay, simple like that, and now pull it up. Okay, so here is the swatch of the apricot. This is that color, and this one is the rose tan, which is a bit more vibrant. So I'm excited to try this on. Let's get on the lips. Lip enhancer.
answer surprised me a bit. It's funny because I couldn't really tell. I was like, mm, it's not looking like anything's there. When I put it on the bottom lip, I just looked at my top lip and I was like, no, it's definitely there. So it does exactly what they say it's going to do. It's translucent. Um, it is just an enhancing your natural color, but it is there, especially because I have um, darker lips, more pigmented lips. These lighter colors, like I said, are hard to show up, but I'm really impressed with both of them because they do exactly what they say they're going to do. This was not a lipstick. This was not gonna be a big burst of vibrancy. It wasn't going to be that. So I'm happy it showed up and that I can see it and it's not just moisturizing my lips which in it feels fantastic. Absolutely, super lightweight, like nothing's there. You get the nice little scents of the green tea, okay? Really, really liking these a lot. And just for fun, let's put a little of the rose tan on top of the abrico. Layer these puppies up, why not? Okay. You really get a nice little wash of color. Really happy with these two. Okay guys, that is it for me. I absolutely adore this collection. Yes, I said that I wish that the compact was more substantial in the hands that it felt more weighted. I stick by that, but it's not a deterrent for the whole line. I think they did a spectacular job starting with the design. The design draws you in. It makes you want to take a closer look. It does what it's supposed to do. Hats off to Pierre Hardy. Stunning compacts, the little details, the beautiful uh, lip enhancer case, love. Christina Gel, again, the smell is still, the scent is still lingering, but in the most pleasant way. It is not obtrusive at all. It is light, perfect for this weather, the spring, the summer. Really, really enjoying it. And the lip enhancers were a pleasant surprise. They are a bit more pigmented than I, than I thought they would be but still just an enhancement of the lips. I can attest to that. And the beautiful blushes, okay? They did go on like silk. They're beautiful. They give you a nice sophisticated sheen on your cheeks. Really, really pigmented, really pigmented. And um, yeah, the two brushes perform beautifully. Both, this cheek remembers with the natural hair bristle and this one was with the synthetic one. Both did a lovely job and they blended out seamlessly and easily and I was able to diffuse um, color as well really, really easily. So overall, really well done to Hermes Beauty and I'm hoping that the brand is back on track in, in terms of their beauty line and that in six months time we will see a new category from them i can't wait to see eyeshadows cannot wait to see what they do with eyeshadows and the packaging uh but until then i guess we have to wait so if you enjoyed this video let me know like comment subscribe down below let me know what you're thinking did you get something from this release let me know what you got let me know what you're hoping to get just tell me what your thoughts are and the last thing i wanted to say because they're so pigmented um, I'm thinking that more shades, uh, more skin tones can wear different, different shades. I was, I didn't know what I would be able to pull off and I'm thinking I could pull off probably most of the shades that came out. So play around, some are more vibrant than others, but there are definitely options there. And as always, if you want to check out our rose tan silk twill headband, any of our other silk twill headbands, our t-shirt hair towel wrap, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, and our other silk twill and linen hair accessories, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shops. The links are below. I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.